Alrighty, we've got a really exciting engine to show off today. This is the Wildcat Ultra Minarelli. Now, what makes this different than normal motorized bike engines is that this has a Minarelli cylinder adapted to it, which is a Italian brand of moped engine. And these cylinders, they're really made to put out a lot of power. And uh, they use a iron cylinder instead of the standard aluminum. So it's really quite different from a normal uh, motorized bike engine. So without further ado, let's dive on into this. All right, so here you've got, uh, these are the gaskets that uh, go in between the spacer plate and the engine, because this engine has to use a spacer plate. This is an adapter that uh, adapts the uh, cylinder to the crankcase. So I will open this up so you guys can see. So this is the gasket. So you got an exhaust gasket, head gasket. You can see the head gasket is slightly different. Then these are the uh, gaskets for the spacer plate. So this is a CNC machined spacer plate that adapts the cylinder uh, to the crankcase because without this spacer, it wouldn't be possible to use uh, this sort of cylinder on a motorized bike engine directly. Then here, this thing is a whole different game. So it doesn't use a stock carburetor. So what you use instead is a, a a VM20 carburetor. So this comes with everything you need for less than 200 bucks. This is a CNC, it's really nice and heavy, just like the uh, the adapter. It's a CNC machined aluminum. This uh, ha is able to have a VM20 carburetor bolt straight up to this. Then here you've got, it comes with a reed valve. So what the reed valve does is it basically allows, it's almost like a one-way valve. Um, so this helps the engine have better performance. So this goes right behind that intake. And then this is just the rest of the hardware. So you've got your uh, the screws to uh, fasten on that intake, as well as some really nice high quality gaskets for everything, all specifically made for this sort of setup. So this really comes fully dialed in, ready to use. Um, this comes with, these are grade eight uh, cylinder studs. These are actually longer than the normal factory cylinder studs because with the adapter plate, the whole setup is taller um, than a normal motorized bike engine cylinder. Um, and then you have the wrist pin and everything for assembling the engine, which is really easy to do. Uh, putting this thing together takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes. It's really straightforward. This is the rear and front mount, uh, all grade eight. So really nice, thick, high quality stuff. This has got a lot of weight to it. Then here, this is the cylinder. This is what makes the magic happen. So this is the exhaust port. So this is bigger than a normal exhaust port. This is a 48 millimeter spacing. So they sell an exhaust pipe for this on California motorbikes that fits this directly. Um, this engine is from California motorbikes as well. So the piston is the same size with a normal motorized bike piston. It's a 47 millimeter. However, this entire top end is all basically an Italian scooter engine. Um, by design. So you've got these really big transfer ports. Um, it's just a very different design from a normal motorized bike uh, cylinder. And uh, if we take the piston out here, this piston is different as well. So this is a different, slightly different design piston. It's got a window on there, so you can use that reed valve with maximum performance. Um, this piston is slightly heavier than a normal motorized bike piston. You can see the quality is really top notch on this. Here you've got the, um, so we already went over the cylinder. So also in the box, you've got this, uh, this cylinder head here. Now this is not a normal stock cylinder head. This, uh, it's hard to describe, but it feels really heavy as if it were CNC machined, but it's not. This is still cast aluminum, as you can tell, but it's really got a solid feel to this. 
Um, it feels really nice. And this is a original Minarelli style head. So this is not like a stock head. Some other people that sell the Minarelli engines, they use a normal stock head. Um, I highly recommend getting one that has the original Minarelli head as the compression ratio and everything is just right. Um, so really nice cylinder head. Then in here, you've got, this is the bottom end that they give you. So this bottom end has a 40 millimeter full-size crank. So a lot of the new motors, they've been shrinking the size of this crank, the, the flywheel. Uh, to be smaller and thinner. This one's got a full size as you can see and it's also got a It's got a no mark. It has this dot here This is a new rod that California motorbikes developed specifically to handle this cylinder it's a thicker 40 millimeter rod than the uh, the ZL 40 millimeter rod um, and then this has also got a true crank out of the box to handle the power that this thing turns out. Um, you've got grade A screws all around here. Let's take this out. You've got a, this is an OZ Magneto out of the box, as you can tell by the red wire. It's also got the OZ Magnet, which has thicker layers than the normal uh, motorized bike. Or, sorry, it's got, yeah, it's got thinner layers than the normal magnet. Let me grab I've got an example magnet here so I can show you guys. Um, I've got the OZ magnet and the standard magnet. So this is a standard magnet. As you can tell, it's comprised of relatively thick layers. These are the, uh, these are the OZ magnets. They're comprised out of these really thin layers. So I'll put them again side by side so you guys can see them. Sorry, as I'm filming with one hand here. So these thinner layer magnets, um, they have more of a magnetic pole to them. So it goes with the OZ Magneto really well. And uh, got the, the best quality gasket material here. So this brown gasket, this is the good stuff. It's the same type of stuff they make the, um, the base gasket out of. Um, they also use the good quality gasket material for the uh, crankcase here some of them you can tell that they use the low quality gasket material here because you can break it with your finger this one's really strong so that's good because you'll definitely have more crankcase pressure when you're running this sort of minarelli setup um, but basically how this goes together is all you do is you put this uh, spacer plate on with the gaskets of course and then this cylinder goes on and then you've got a really powerful motor that turns out a lot more than a stock 80cc, 66cc. Um, really nice, you see the cylinder's got this uh, built-in uh, port here for the reed valve. So the reed valve just pops in here, the carburetor bolts directly on. This cylinder, cast iron, super heavy compared to a normal cylinder. Really high quality, just beautiful casting and everything like that, it's really nice. Um, anyways, yeah, this motor's a real runner. These. Uh, these will go 55 miles an hour out of the box. It's just unreal. So you want to make sure that your bicycle is definitely ready for that sort of torque before you get this thing bolted on. But if you haven't tried this type of motor yet, definitely give them a shot. They're called Minarelli Motorized Bike Engines. This one's from California Motorbikes, the California Motorbikes Wildcat Ultra Minarelli. And uh, going with the California Motorbikes one versus some of the other brands, you're getting this... There's two different factories making these cylinders. You get the, the best type. This one has the biggest intake and exhaust. And uh, also you get the really good quality CNC parts and good quality gasket material. On top of that, this is like the cheapest uh, Minarelli engine out there. So definitely check them out.